Let's talk about drama. The real drama. And I'm not talking about card fights with females or the fake one on TV. I'm talking about a real dilemma. I'm talking about sons growing up with our mamas. And yeah, we talk about females growing up with our fathers. But what does the son become when his own mama gave up on him? Isn't that another problem to society? Isn't that another problem for us females? Because you have to think in a man that doesn't know motherly love. How does he know how to treat a woman? Does he kiss her? Does he love her? Does he hug her? Does he go paranoid of being, with the idea of always being kicked out because he did the wrong thing, even if it was a mistake? Let's talk about that drama where it has become acceptable for any mother and every mother to give up. <laughs> and I mean give up on your own child. I mean you bore the kid for nine months in your stomach, pushed him out and nursed him. And then all of a sudden, ten, down, th- ten years down, twenty days down the road, you decide it's time for you to give up. I don't think mama is a name that's partial or temporary. And I understand that we kids are going to give you reasons to want to give up. But we are kids. That's what we do. We push a little too far sometimes. And it's your job as mothers to hold us down and remind us. You brought us to this world and your job is to see us through. If a mama gives up on her son, how do you expect your son to treat a woman? I mean, what does he do? And we females in the streets, we suffer this because we have a man who is emotionally disconnected. He doesn't know what's reality from what is not true. Let's talk about this dilemma. I mean, this whole drama where mamas have gone down from being a mother to being a teammate. They want to be friends with your son so bad that it gets to a point where the level of respect has really degraded. And you're not true as a mama anymore because you have stopped acting like a mother. So I will call you out of your name and I will curse you out inside your house. And yes, you kick him out, but that's your son. First son, second son, third son, last son, whatever it is, it is your son. And will you be one of those people seated in the, in the church when he's laying in the casket after you kicked him in the cold strip? Whatever the dilemma, whatever the drama, whatever the cursing and the insults. I think a mama never quits being a mother. And if you have opted out of your only one and only true job that God has given you to bear a kid and to raise this child. What is your other duty? What else are you doing? If you let a kid in your house once call you out of your name. What ex- and there are no consequences or repercussions. He's always going to believe that he can do that. If you let a child think that he can fight you verbally, you are letting him know that one day go ahead and try the physical part. Don't you ever flip around and ask him to leave because you told him it's okay to talk shit. It's okay to talk smack and go down to smacking me because I will smack you back. A mother says no once. And a child understands the mama ain't playing. So let's talk about this drama. But let's not just talk about it to make rhymes and verses. Make lines that rhyme and make it a rap or whatever you want to call it. How about we actually find a solution? Females? Soon to be mothers? Mothers today? How about you take sons back with love, time, attention, and please be patient. A patient woman is everything anybody loves to see. Whatever the drama, don't kick him out. He needs you, mama.